And so when did you start? 97, 98. And then when did you get SNL? Uh, 2001. Wow. Dude, that's so quick. It was too fast. You got it fucking so fast. Yeah. And so you were on like that. I had like 20 minutes of material. That's good. At the time, you know, 15, 20 minutes of stand-up material. And so you were a stand-up or yeah. both? Stand-up first, yeah. Well, I did Mad Mad TV the year before. Oh, you did? You're the only... I got to fix the intro. Not you're the only the, one, no. You're the first one. First, I guess. He is the first person to ever be only on SNL and Mad TV. Yeah. That, that was you. Who was the next person? Uh, Taryn Killam. Taryn Killam, okay. So you were on Mad... So how did you get Mad TV? Uh, just, I got recommended by the improv and Joel Zadak and, uh, just got recommended for like an improv, you know, at the improv five minute stand up showcase. And then boom. And then boom, I guess it took a long time. They didn't really want me. I don't think. Cause I, I just, you know, so green and I did a million auditions twice to network Mm-hmm. Finally got on there. Did a four of 12, you know, four shows of 12. You just did four apps. That's it, yeah. Just four apps. Four apps. But that would happen a lot, you know? Like, they'd, they'd pick four guys and two would go six months, two would go a year, one year, two years, you know? Or maybe a guy would go five, six years. But it's, you know, it's pretty tough to survive in that climate. So I know, but I mean, dude, you could do so, you can do any impression. So that's like what you would, that's the player. But at that time, at that time, I couldn't do, couldn't do that much. I could do some impressions, but I had no acting training. I, I didn't know stage direction. No, you know. So you go and you do Mad TV for half a season. Mm -hmm. And then when SNL comes right after yeah, like less than a year, I think it even was. Wow. So how did that happen? They Just saw the it. timing, you know. Um, my managers at the time didn't tell me about going on or even trying to get on SNL. Mm-hmm. They just worked it until they got the audition and then told me that, you know, I had this audition in two weeks. Okay. And I was like, you know, I'm not ready to do that. I don't want to do that. You know, let's wait. They said, you know, it's... It's, you know, you're going to go there and do it there, you know, on the stage. And I said, all right, okay, I'll try to get this together. <sighs> and uh, I was like, and I just got in a car accident, like literally two minutes before. I just gotten back in the car and started, got on the highway and they called me. You, would, how bad was the accident? Not that bad, but enough to shake you up, you know? Yeah. You know? So you get, you had a bad car accident. Not a bad one. But Not a bad one. Yeah, but, but. Fender Bender, and they're like, you got an audition, and they said it was SNL? Yeah, yeah. And then? Then I had two weeks, so I just just worked on, uh, worked on like, you know, 10 impressions, pretty much. How many did you have at that time? Probably about 10. Probably about 10. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But did you do any other jokes or just impressions? No, just impressions, yeah. And so you had about 10, and then so when you went to SNL, you did how many? About 10? Like nine. Nine. And then how was the reaction on the stage? Obviously, you got it, but did you feel like it was, like, warm? I was just, like, it was kind of one of those things, so I think it's, like, like the comedy store kind of prepared me for that, like that late, those late-night sets, because mm-hmm. there, were, there were people there in the darkness, mm-hmm. you know, all the producers and stuff, like eight people, and they just... And I just wasn't getting any laughs, really. So I just kind of cranked it a little harder. And you know that kind of thing where it's like you just don't want to let them, just don't want to let them think you're nervous. Yes. Of course you're nervous. Yeah. You don't want to look like you're nervous. So I, I just, just kind of, my attitude was like, I don't want my nerves to be the thing that swallows me up and stops any opportunity. So I just went for it. And I heard some laughs here and there. I thought that was pretty good. And then I got off the stage, started walking, and then Lauren kind of stopped me and shook my hand and said, good job. Really? Yeah. So I was like, okay, that was good. Yeah. That's a big deal. That's like Johnny Carson, like, 
to the couch <laughs> type shit. Wow. And then when did you know you had it? Um, uh, when I landed in uh, San Diego, because I flew directly to San Diego the next day. To do like a gig? Yeah, to do the La Jolla Comedy Store. So, and then you knew like that? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Well, I, yeah, yeah. That's incredible. Wait, so when did you become a regular at the store? 98. So you came down. You are you have a very quick, quick. And so when did you, you started comedy what year? Well, it was really like 97, 98. So I did 97, somewhere in 97. And then when I graduated from college, it was like 98. So I moved here in 98. So you came here. Straight here. And yeah. then you auditioned for the store? Yep. Do with an agent or just like potlucks and uh, that's saw you? Bob Oshak recommended me. Yeah. And and yeah. Bob is a, a really good guy. He's he's recommended a lot of people. Yeah. He's a sweet guy. Like he helps a lot yeah. of people Bob succeed. Oshak. Yeah. How you doing, Jamie? <laughs> okay. It's Bob Oshak. So he so you you re, he, he recommended you. Yeah. You auditioned for Mitzi? Yeah. And then you got in the first try? No. Uh, first, yeah, first try, I think, yeah, first try they made me a door guy. So you worked there as a door guy? Yep. And then one night somebody said something, and she said to me, she goes, do your Louie, Louie Anderson <laughs> impression, which sounds Pretty much like, like her. her. Yeah, he's just, I was going to say. Hey, you he's know, I'm, like, I go, you ready to play that feud? <laughs> <laughs> it's hot in here. You guys, does anybody want a club sandwich? <laughs> is this your club? Whose club sandwich is this? Is this yours? Can I have it? Oh, my God, dude. Dude. Dude, that's, it's so Perfect. I love Lou. He's one of my heroes. And I know he's one of your heroes. Yes. And it's and I get to work with him because I get to do funny you should ask. Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, that is just that's Louie, dude. That is so dead on. He's Please. he's seen you he's seen you do it. Yeah, I've seen it. I like it. <laughs> I told him the first time he did it, because he opened for me in Vegas, he said, You can keep going. When you do me. You can just keep going. And he, <laughs> Talk about all the other things I like, like shrimp and blueberry pie. <laughs> Wait, did you open up for Louis? Yeah. As Louis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, see this? In Vegas. Is, how many times? Once. But he That's had how well you, it went. But he had you? I did. I did the, I think it was the either the Riviera or the Rio. I think it was the Riviera. <laughs> and, uh... I go, you know, I started, went up there trying to work the crowd as him. How you doing? It's Louie. <laughs> How are you? How's everybody doing? Yeah. <laughs> it's hot in here. Is it hot in here? <laughs> it's just me, hum. <sighs> I get hot in here. So wait, so you get within the store, so you're a doorman. I think I remember you when you were a doorman. But it was quick. And then you went up, and then, so you did your Louie, and then what happened? For her. It did Louie, and then I just pretty much got passed right after that. She passed you? Yeah. And then how long did you grind it out? That was, you know, another, I guess, nine months. That's nothing. <laughs> so I quick. know, but I, I paid for all this on the back end. I know, bro. I know. <laughs> it's, it really does even itself you, out. You pay your dues, what, on the, the beginning or the, the end? The middle right? or, Somewhere yeah, or, or you go, yeah, there's like... It's true. It's very few people like hit right away and keep going all the way through. It's happened, or, or very few people take forever and then hit and keep going. I mean, or there's ups and downs. It's it's very true. Yeah. So wait. So you get in, and then you get that. You then you get Mad TV and stuff, and then so then you get SNL right after. Guys, you have to watch his podcast, the Jeff Richards Show. And then you were the first. When we did the Robert Downey Jr. Dude, so it's such a brilliant concept. And you, the thing is, you didn't even tell me what it was. You just said, blah, blah, blah. You want to do my pod? Uh, and then you came on, and you're in a deep fake Robert Downey Jr. People don't know that, but I get actually very, very nervous. 
especially when I have to make like a sandwich because it's like, I don't know what to put on it. I don't know how much to put on. Even if I know to put ham and mayonnaise and lettuce, I don't know how much. So I kind of freak out, you know, and I kind of get nervous and I take a bath. Mm -hmm. So what, what brought you into this sort of like, I mean, Wait, now, you go to the bath. If, if you're a mid sandwich, you'll stop to take a bath to figure out how to finish the sandwich. Oh yeah. And then people just clean up whatever's on the, on the counters. Yeah. I know. I just, I take a bath. I put my retainer in and I just try to stay submerged as, 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 uh, as, as long as I can. Do you ever finish the sandwich? Okay. That's a personal question. I, I choose not to accept that. And I choose to reject that as a matter of fact. Okay. I'm sorry. No, if I can't figure it out, no one, no one figures it out. It's over. You know, I just had pasta or I have like, you know, leg of lamb or something. And then the next thing I know, <laughs> you're just talking to me like Robert Downey Jr. You never told me. Yeah. And then eventually I just said, okay, this is, I went with it nicely. You really did. <laughs> I went with it. You, it was almost like somebody woke you up to do improv. Yeah, right. <laughs>